Times, Jonathan Porterfield of Eco Cars. Quick video clip now of our Chevrolet Kalos, it's the 1.2 that we've had converted to run on LPG on a 58 plate registered um, October 2008, so it's on the warranty till October 2011 this year. So it's the remaining new car warranty and uh, it's the 1.2. Now these are actually converted in Europe to LPG by Chevrolet using the BRC system that we've had fitted. So we've had a colour coded uh, filler cap which I think fits in rather nicely with the petrol filler cap being the other side. Um, high level brake light, rear wash wipe which you expect from most modern cars and under here in the spare wheel well is where we've had the LPG tank fitted and as a space saver spare which comes with the car which is back in our uh, in our garage and also a basic toolkit so no loss of boot space and uh, you can also fit the space saver in here or carry a tin of tie sealant as well we get uh, rear speakers in the back a parcel shelf that comes out the seats split in a what would we say 70 30 split Great little city cars these, they really do represent excellent value for money. We get electric uh, windows in the rear and as you can see, just need to vacuum out, there are no rips or tears to any of the upholstery. Three rear inertia seat belts and also three rear headrests as well. There's some mat pockets in the back of the front seats. Now I'm quite tall so I've got the seat right back. Um, let me show you in the front. We get four electric windows. That's to isolate the rear windows so the children can't uh, sleep, uh, operate them. Electrically operated wing mirrors and also remote central locking. That's one of the keys and there's also a spare key as well. The driver's seat is uh, height adjustable and again as you can see there are no rips or tears to any of the fabric at all. It still smells like a brand new car. Um, indeed, the driver's floor mats and rubbers are all in keeping with its low mileage. So in this uh, Chevrolet Kalos, they're, they're very well equipped really. We've got uh, air conditioning, normal heating controls, recirculate and heated rear screen. There's also a rather snazzy cup holder there for your drinks and also a small ashtray and a cigarette lighter. I don't think cigarette lighter has ever been used and it doesn't smell of smoke in here at all. We have uh, all the books here, the manuals, driving, driving manuals and the service history which I'll show you in a moment. Front passenger airbag as well as an airbag in the driver's steering wheel. So uh, quite comfortable little city cars these, well, very well equipped its uh, price range. Um, this is where we've had the BRC LPG switch fitted and this was a blank and I just think the round switch fits very nicely along with the rear fog light switch and the hazard light switch. Now I'll start the car. Now it starts up on petrol. The bong is telling me to put my seat belt on. Red denotes is on petrol then it turns to amber and then green and it's now running on LPG and the four lights along the bottom denote the level in the gas tank. Now at any time you can turn the system off by pressing the middle of the switch, it sends it back into petrol, and then you press the middle again, press the middle again, press it, there you go. And it turns from red to amber to green and it's running an LPG. So we leave it permanently switched when you run out of gas it will automatically switch back to petrol and obviously you've got the normal petrol gauge there just showing over a quarter of a tank of petrol. So during that warm up period obviously it's running on petrol then when it's reached temperature it will switch over automatically. You've got a single shot CD player and radio and just to verify the mileage there which we can guarantee just 13,920 miles power assisted steering, wiper stalks on that side, indicator and lights on the other side. So really are great little cars to uh, 
run around town in. So just showing you the uh, documents for the vehicle. It was uh, owned by Chevrolet Leasing. There was no previous keeper, so you'll be down as the second keeper. Date of registration there, the 6th of October 2008. So it's under warranty till the 6th of October 2011. The Chevrolet Kalos. Now when we sell it, we will get it changed to alternative fuel car, which means you get £10 off the price of road from license. CO2 is 153 grams per kilometre. We'll also get the type of fuel change from petrol to gas slash biofuel. We look after all that paperwork with DVLA. No MOT of course because it's not yet three years old. We have a spare key. Also the service book that came with the car showing when I can find the page it's two services. So it was serviced at 9,000 miles on the 10th of December 2009 and it was serviced on the 1st of where are we? October at 12,000 miles. So the next one's due October next year, October this year, or at 22,000 miles. And uh, don't forget the warranty is still valid till October with Chevrolet. Now we've had it converted, as you know, as you've seen from the switch uh, with a BRC system which is one of the best and this is all the documents and just to verify it's been fitted by authorised installers LPG conversions fitted on the 12th of January this year 2011 now the old style LPG certificates have been replaced by just this letter and then confirming that uh, it has been placed this car with its reg on the UK LPG vehicle register. So if you want to see the details of this car, go to the website drivelpg.co.uk to verify it's been fitted by an approved installer. So this replaces the old uh, LPG certificates. It's all now online. So as long as, as along with the two-year warranty on the gas system, you get all the certificates that came with the car, the tank, the regulator, and we've also have flash lube fitted as well, which I'll explain in a moment. And we also give you a um, Autogas LPG refueling map guide. So everything's there, even the spare key. It's been serviced, and this car is all ready to go. So looking under the bonnet of this uh, Kalos, there's the BRC ECU control unit, all very neatly fitted into the existing wiring loom. We have the vaporizer under there with a fuel filter underneath, an inline fuel filter, and the four um, gas injectors on the gas rail that feed the gas into the engine. Like I mentioned uh, earlier, we've had flash lube fitted. Now this basically injects or sucks in a small amount of lubricating fluid to lubricate the top end of the engine. So it's called a valve saver product, and as you can see. It takes about a half a litre of um, flash lube, which is e readily available at your nearest LPG installer. So finally, this uh, Chevrolet's in very good condition. I don't, can't see any stone chips to the leading edge of the bonnet whatsoever. There's lots of tread left on all four tyres. Uh, there's a minor scuff mark, to see it on the wing mirror. It's the only fault I can find with this car. It's dent free, it's uh, HPI clear, and converted to LPG will be extremely cheap to run. This is, uh, we've converted a few Chevrolets before, but this is the first Kalos we've uh, converted. So uh, if you have any questions about this, screen's clear as well. If you have questions about this or any of our LPG or hybrid vehicles, then feel free to give me Jonathan here at EcoCars a call anytime. Thanks for watching.